Hello, ladies. Goodness, you guys have been really chatting amongst yourselves there. Couldn't get my uh, codes to come up. <laughs> Chatters. <laughs> Is Chatter sis by any chance? No, oh, it must be somebody else. Carol, I'm so glad that you um your thing went good. Hate those things though. Yeah, I, I'm sure Dee is pretty much upset about that whole incident. Ah. What's wrong with Dee's account? Uh, Dee's account was hacked. And Carol sent me a message today and said that she got this message that Dee was wanting to send her niece an iTunes card, but she didn't have the money and she wanted Carol wow. to pay for it. And I said, no, I'm sure that's not D. Hi, sis. Yeah, we ate some kind of fast, quick food. Sarah and Doug and her husband, Doug and uh, Ron, were busy today getting stuff out of a storage and putting stuff in various places. We had a few things left. So I finally, 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 I got a storage to put all my, my stuff in so I can actually find it and not be going from room to room looking for it. So it's still going to be a bunch of work, but it will happen. Carol says, hello, Jackie and Sarah. Hi, Carol. So we already got nine people since it's already 6.07. Sis said, Jackie, did you get my email? And she gave it to me. Sis said, Sis said it? Yeah. No, I did not. And I've been looking, checking my emails and send it to me again. Hi, Jeffrey. Um, I even been looking at my junk mail because I've been trying to, I have to pay for the storage from through Zell. And the owner of the storage was supposed to be sending me his information and he hasn't sent it and i kept checking my email checking my email it's real sketchy. hi jeffrey really cheryl that is weird there's a whole lot of weirdness going out there i'll, I'll tell you yeah it's going to be a real it's going to be a lot of work to get it organized, but it should be a lot better once it is. It was about something in your hall. I'll wait and see if it's in today's sale. Okay. No, I got one from... Last week, I got one from um, Lynn, and I addressed that. And I had got one from Carol. But I did not get one from you, sis. I'm sorry. Hmm. Yeah, that's just crazy. Sounds like she was hacked in three or four different ways. Well, all they had to do is grab her contact, you know, like her subscriber or contact list or something. And then start making up excuses why they would, you know need to send her money. That's how they do. It's all about the money. The pastor at our church, she gets hacked like that yeah, about once every four months. And it'll be saying that they she needs money to be donated for such and such. And um, so then, of course, she has to send an email to everybody saying, hey, that's not me, da-da-da. Hello, Terry. How are you, girlfriend? Well, now that you figured out how to do it, you're just going to be quite the little YouTuber person there. I wish I was taller. Oh, and I got my new glasses. The weird thing is I, I like I like them, but I see better without them than I do with them, if that's even makes any sense. Okay.
everything for me. So how is things in Indy, Tara? supposed to be it was quite warm and humid today it's supposed to be even worse tomorrow and so oh and uh, on top of all that excitement um my dryer wasn't working right so we had somebody come out he had to change some kind of coils and that was like close to three hundred dollars over three hundred with his just coming in and then he said that we ha still had to have the dryer vent uh, vacuumed out. So he said the the vac the uh, dryer line might be, you know, corroded, falling apart. Yada yada yada. Oh, so anyway, so we have somebody coming out nah, Wednesday for that. So I can't use my dryer until that's fixed. And uh, so, of course, over the weekend, I get to go to the laundromat. And uh, maybe we'll make a party, but we'll all go. We'll all go to the laundromat. I hate going to the laundromat. Uh, Deb. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of sitting on a pillow, honestly. Because I feel like the chairs just sink in. They're, they're cushioned. And they really... <clears throat> Oh, but I went to the chiropractor and he crunched my back when he was working on it. He said, <sniffs> he said, oh, that was a good one. So I really, my back is already feeling better from the, going to the <laughs> chiropractor. So thank God for that. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Sometimes we have a breeze. Sometimes we don't. Yeah. The dreaded laundromat. So I'm going to see if, uh. If we can all go, well, Deb will probably be at work, but we can all go and uh, we'll get it done faster if we do it that way. And then by the time, if I get it all done, then I won't need to do it again until, you know, the dryer will be fixed, I assume. Well, guys, I didn't even, I had to ask Sarah, I didn't really know where there was one because I haven't been to one in years. Hi, Nathan. How are you, buddy? Nathan, I got my new glasses. It's not something you want to ever do is you don't want to ever go to the laundromat. And it, it never fails that your washer or dryer goes out when you have a mound of laundry. You know, if you just got all done and then it could put, but it never does that. Never. So, so Jeffrey, were you working last week, taking a break or what? Oh, hi, Marianne. It's hot in here, don't you think, Sarah? Or is it just me? It's warm. Oh, because I was saying my face even. You turn the fan. Um, I think we'd feel better if it was on. Thank you. Yeah, they were. Yeah, I like them too. I I love the color and. I'm trying to turn my head. I like the sides of them. But I still see better with them off. It's kind of weird. You've been working a lot? Well, what is it you do, Jeffrey? I, I don't know if I ever asked you or not. Uh, Nathan, I just... Really have to just wear them for reading, but I can wear them all the time. I mean, I have the top parts I can see out of far away. But I see better far away with moth. I don't know why. We got the fan on, so I, I think I'm feeling a little bit better now. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, first of all, I wanted to tell you. Tuesday, Dee and I will be doing our sale again. Um, I asked her how her hand felt, and uh, I didn't want to. We've laid off for a couple months because of her hand, but really, I'll be darned. And anyway, we are 
gonna have her sale um Tuesday night, like whatever. She'll probably announce it tomorrow, what time and everything. Um, but she said her hand, you know, was feeling better, so she wanted to go ahead and have her sale. We haven't had one for a while. So I have a I don't have quite as many things tonight because I want everybody to listen. I will be holding the stuff until after Tuesday's sale, and then I will put those two sales together. And that will be like one a little bit bigger one. Hi, Lori. Yeah, Nathan, I think that's what I'm going to do. So we are going to get started. And uh, I've, I've been finding a lot of good stuff. So at least I think it is <clears throat> a little nicer stuff. So, um, yeah. So that's a good thing, I guess. So, um, on that note, <laughs> I'm going to show you one of the nicest things I found. My son-in-law, Sarah, they have rolled their eyes to the backs of their heads on this one. But I find it very attractive. And it is this Halloween pig. It's a witch pig. And it's made of like resin or plastic or something. But I just think, look at the eyes on it. Don't they look evil? I just think it's the coolest thing. I don't know. I don't know if anybody out there collects pigs, but it just looked like something. If I collected pigs, I would want to have. I think she's a beauty. Very lightweight, so you wouldn't have to worry about, you know, shipping or anything. She is, and I'm saying she, is $6.00. No, they're going to go on. Probably tomorrow, Cheryl. Poltergeist piggy. <laughs> um, I like I like her. Hootie doody here. Uh, she is six dollars number seventeen. Six dollars number seventeen. Says so she's rolling her eyes too. Are you rolling your eyes? Marianne says Miss Piggy's wicked sister. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's Jeffrey cool. Jeffrey Ross loves her. Jeffrey Ross is going to get her. Jeffrey Ross. Oh, honey, you and Jeffrey are going to have some fun. Yes, you are. And see, this is what I say. My family can roll their eyes till kingdom come. Hi, Jeannie, but I know that I'm not the only weird person in the world. So, I'll miss her. I've been chatting with her for a few days now, but I'm going to put her down here because she scares the shit out of me. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. All right, let's get on with it. Jeffrey Rose says she looks like my wife. <laughs> your wife or your ex-wife? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're weird, Nathan. I, you know, I want to tell you, I know a lot of weird people. He's in his ex -wife. Oh, I was going to say, if it's your current wife, she won't be wrong. <laughs> oh, gosh, you're killing me. Oh, all right, let me see. I don't have anything else quite as weird. Quite as weird. All right, I have, um, I'm going to do this here. I found, and I always find them in really nice shape. When I bought mine, it was in bad shape, and then I had to replace it. But I found another um, Androck pastry blender, and uh, this one ha had a red handle. It's been used and used because it's it even has black, looks like paint on it or something. Apparently, they weren't very good when they painted. I think it was a red handle. It might have been a wooden one, but it looks like red. And also, I put with it a um, a cookie cutter, a round cookie cutter or biscuit cutter with a red 
would handle. And these two items are number eight and they're $12. $12, number eight for the pastry blender and the cookie cutter. And I, I'm telling you what, I use, I use, do use mine. I think they're very, very handy. Nine years, nine great years. <laughs> Uh, well, Jeffrey, I I understand. I do. I uh, understand. Oh, I, I thought this was a bit was a. This has like a little um. A little thingy here. So, like, you can make donuts, and then you take this piece out, and it's just a biscuit cutter or a cookie cutter. You know that gold uh, bedspread? I had one exactly like it. They came from Sears. And it was like a kind of a teal color. It wasn't, it was a little bit darker than a teal. Kind of like the blue in the, the that was the, like green one with the blue trim. And so my mom bought, she ordered one for me and for my roommate so we would have matching bedspreads. And they were Chanel. And that tells you how long ago I went to college. <laughs> A long, long time ago. Yeah, I love Chanel. It is my fight. Alrighty. I have this really cute Santa boot. I guess it would say it's a, I don't know if it's a Mrs. Santa boot. Um, Bank. Oh, I got the whole covered up. Bank. It does have the little stopper in the bottom. I'm going to guess it's from Japan just because the Santa on it is very, very Japan-y. And it's got like a little felt hat. And then there's these little um, goobers here that are on the Beauties. side. Huh? Berries? <laughs> They're little, I was going to say uh, pom-poms. Sarah's being rude to me. Yeah. Anyway, I thought it was really cool. It's it's truly vintage. And the, the paint on it's real good. There's only just a little bit um, on the one boot because it's all cold painted. The red and the black is. Um, but he's certainly got a Japan face. And this bank is $10, number seven. $10, number seven for the Vintage Boot Bank. Thank you, Carrie. It looks like a Carrie thing because I love it. So usually if I love it, you, you like it. All right. What's on his head? I don't know what's on the head of this. It looks like chocolate or something. I didn't get it off good, I guess. But it is this little baby. And I think once upon a time it squeaked. I'm glad it doesn't now because the dogs would go nuts. So, But it's got that bottom on it like it would have squeaked. And look at the little face. Look at that little face. It's like a cupie. Not the cupie with the wings, because I didn't know cupie said wings. But it's a little baby sleeping and going night night. Mm. And it is five dollars number nineteen. Five dollars number nineteen. She needs a bath. She needs a bath. She does. She's dirty. She's a dirty girl. I love the little way she's crossing her legs. I collect some of the little babies, but I, I, I'm i running out of room, so I've got to kind of only get one here and there, <laughs> and it has to be, like, little. Thank you, Carrie. 
All right. I have this set of four uh, Corel juice glasses. They're in the pattern Abundance, still in the box. And, um, man, these things go for a lot on eBay. I was shocked. But they're really nice ones. they got the nice little weighted bottom, and uh, they're real pretty. In fact, I thought I had a, I think I have a plate with this on it. I buy random Corel plates for the heck of it. Anyway, um, there is four of them. And they are $12, number 10. $12, number 10. Those are the juice glasses? Yeah. Why is this doing this? Okay. Really? 15 people. Hi, D. You know, I hate when that happens because it's such a hassle. Okay. I'm sorry you were a couple minutes late because I want to see who you who you missed. It is Jeffrey's ex-wife. I'm not sure what her name is, but it is his ex-wife. I hope you when you responded, you said something rude. Is this pod pod? Coming again. Oh, they think I'm losing it. Alrighty. <laughs> All right. Where did he put that thing? The pod. I don't know. I can hear it. I know. I think he's got still that moment. He never changed it. All right. My next item is. You know what is weird? I didn't get. I didn't get one of those. Jeffrey's pig ex wife is in. <laughs> Man, I don't think I've laughed this much in weeks. It's a good night. I have this really cute frozen <laughs> frozen Charlotte egg timer. And uh, I don't know. I, I love these things. I think they're cool. And she is made in Japan. She's in really good shape. There's really no paint missing that I well in the back it's it's missing a little bit. It's not like it's just like it wasn't ever coated good. And she is I, I love frozen Charlottes. I think they're cool. Another one of those Japan things you couldn't weren't real talented. Um she is $10, number four. $10, number four for the little egg timer. I found some of the larger stained glass window thingies still in the package. And there, there's three of them. They're all number 18. Let me pull this off so it's not right in front of it. Um, this one is... 18H, because it's got a house on it, with a little 
<clears throat> elf in the window. And they're, um, I don't know how tall or high, you know. Nine inch large. They're nine inches. Nine inches. And then I have um, this round one, like an or ornament, and it says Noel. And it is 18 O for ornament. And then I have this, I'll put it here, um, square or rectangular one. It says Noel, and it is um, 18N for Noel. So 18N for Noel, 18O for ornaments, and 18H for house, and they're all $3. I like the one with the fancy, right, like the rectangular one. Yeah, I do too. I, I got them too. I think it's pretty. Jeffrey wants all of them. All of them. Okay. Uh, thank you, Jeffrey. Well, I kept thinking that I was selling, pushing, selling Christmas. They, they've got, I saw a video and I was practically stroking on it. They had, um, um, what do you call it? <coughs> it was that Cracker Barrel. Somebody was doing a walkthrough of Cracker Barrels <coughs> of the Christmas stuff. And they had a bunch of pink flamingo stuff that was so cool. I thought I was going to faint. It was gorgeous. And um, they have all their Christmas stuff out. Now, I know that, uh, like, the smaller dollar stores, they just have fall stuff out right now. But I know in a matter of a couple of weeks, I'll have the Christmas stuff. It's never too, you know, it's never, never too early to buy Christmas or holiday stuff. Okay, thank you very much, Jeffrey. I need to see what I got. I have this, um, when Sarah and I went to the, no, I was when I went by myself, I think. Um, I was finding pictures left and right while I found, was it when I was with you, we got this one? It was in a box, I thought. Yeah. Okay, I'll take that back. It was when me and Sarah went. This is the, um, I think it's called Cape Cod Pattern. And it is the red picture by Avon. And I mean, it's deep, deep red. It's very pretty. It would be so pretty for Christmas. I can't get over how dark red it is. Though. It's really red. Okay. So much for that. <laughs> and it is in perfect shape. There's nothing chipped or anything like that. Um, we have a box for it. Of course, they save it all the time and then we forget to put them in a box. But sometimes we have the boxes in them. And it is $12 number five. $12, number five, for the Cape Cod picture. It does kind of look black over the screen, but when you're in person, it just look it looks like yeah. a really, really, really dark red. Yeah, it is a dark red. Like if you get the glasses and stuff, because you get more light through them, you can tell it's red, but this is definitely red. I was going to say, if I had my flashlight... Oh, here. Here's a flashlight. Oh, okay. here, here's a dead flashlight. It doesn't appear to be working. Yet. I don't know how you open it. I don't, know how you open it. I don't either. Oh, here's another flash. Oh, that's your. That's right. It'll work. It's very dim. Oh, this is my. Uh, no, you can't tell. This is my. Yeah. It, it, that thing looks almost dead. You can barely see it. Yeah, it's. It's. it's it's not good. Well, anyway, it's red. Take me for it. It's red. Well, when you hold it up to the light, I can see through the bottom of it. Better. Yeah. You can definitely tell. Yeah, I can, you know, if you look at the light. If you guys want to come over and we'll look at all, look at it together, then you'll see it's red. Okay. I'm going to put that right there. 
Okay. Well, Maybe this one. The number on it? Yeah. Okay. Number five, twelve dollars. Okay. I think I said it. Maybe I didn't. Well, this one you're going to be able to tell it is white. And I have never, ever seen one of these. It is a iris and herringbone. It's made by the Jeanette Company, Jeanette Glass. It is um, um, depression glass. But I never saw a milk glass one like this. It's beautiful. I mean, if you like milk glass, it is just absolutely beautiful. Way prettier than the uh, marigold. Are those different kinds of flowers or is it all the same flowers? Oh, uh, they're all irises, oh, okay. as far as I know. <clears throat> they look like there, but I can't tell for sure. Anyway, um, it is $10, and there's nothing wrong with it. There's no chips or anything, and it's number 16. $10, number 16 for the iris and herringbone milk glass vase. Okay, Nathan. Thank you, Carol. Well, I had a clock. We had bought a clock and I was going to put it in the sale, put batteries in it. And uh, it runs, but it was supposed to do, play a different Christmas carol at each hour. It, it didn't work. So I was going to fill around with it a little bit. Otherwise, it'll just have it as a running clock here at Christmas. So I put this instead of it and... Uh, it's got a nice Santa vibe. It is uh, from 1995 Telco Creations. You have batteries? I do. The batteries are a little old, so if you let it go too long, it'll start kind of winding down. If you had new batteries, it'd be a lot better. But it, you hang it on the wall. It's got a wall hang. And... Uh, <laughs> The dogs don't like it. <laughs> this is probably coming to take it away from me. Banda's going wacky over here. What is it, Bandy? What's a baby, huh? What is that weirdo? I don't like that. Yeah. Luckily, he didn't bite his head off. Oh, did you see it on my haul, Nathan? So anyway, it is $15, number 14. $15, number 14. It's in really good shape. Apparently nobody threw anything at it. Or I, I really love his eyes. I think his eyes are cool. And it takes two uh, AA batteries. Biscuit Louise, please calm down. <laughs> she is very upset. I got Carol. Else. Thank you, Cheryl. Cheryl, I don't know. Oh, that's just Carol. Carol, What's Cheryl. Happening? What's happening? Bandit, it's going to go bye bye. I'm sorry to tell you. It's going to go bye bye in the car. Yeah, I was surprised when I picked it up and I was looking at it. Come here, Weezy. I thought it was a lot older because of the face of it, but it was only 95. Well, of course, 1995 is a few years ago, but it looked like it looked more almost like the 50s or 60s. Okay, let me see here. Now, my next item is uh, this afghan. 
It's very big. It's like almost like a blanket. <laughs> and I think it's knitted. I don't think it's crocheted. I uh, can't tell. It doesn't look like crochet to me. It looks like knitting. I will open it up as much as I can. Um, I couldn't see any stains. I don't see any, um, you know, like holes in it or anything. It does have fringe all the way around. And it's like really open. You know, it's not a real heavy one, which I prefer because I don't like them. Sometimes they're too hot. And it's about, let's see, 48 inches wide. And I thought it was about at least 70, 80 inches uh, long. I mean, it's big. And it is $15 number one. $15 number one. What's nice about it is, um, you know, it's just kind of a sort of a neutral color, really. I mean, it would go with pretty any much anything. I get sis. Thank you, sis. All right, I'm gonna go night night now. I'll put it over here in my night night spot. Ah. Okay. I have this really cool uh, it was made in occupied Japan and it is this really cool like little cherub holding up I used to absolutely be gaga over this kind of stuff oh, Sis is very happy because that's what she was emailing me about was the African Oh, really? <clears throat> so who was it that got the African? Sis. Oh, she did get it. Okay, yeah. that was what she wanted. Yeah. Oh, okay, good, good. So this, uh, yeah, I, I used to have all kinds of stuff like this, but this was not mine. And it's this little, it's a cherub, and it looks like it's, you know, it's on the water because it's holding up this fancy shell. The shell's really cool looking. It is very cool looking. And um, it is, I didn't see any chips or cracks or anything like that on it. It's in really good shape. And it is $10 number three. $10 number three. Well, it says, I'm glad you got it. Yeah, I used to have all kind of, my room was pink. My bedroom was pink and I had all these types of things in there. There's our neighbor riding around on his lawnmower again. He's a cool one. And he always stops here and lets it run and talks to Ron. Okay. I have this really nice, I looked through it all very carefully. I was real careful with the pages last night. It's called Christmas from the Heart, and it's by Better Homes and Gardens. And it has all kinds of things in it. It has, um, it has recipes. It has um, decoration, um, you know, instructions and all kinds of stuff. I love this right here, actually. I think, and they look like they'd be real easy to make. I think those are so cool. And it's from 19, or 20, 20, 2019, duh. It's got some good foods. It also had a soups and stews book in the cover of it. 
Somebody must have just stuck that in. There were some pretty cool soups in there. And um, it's in really brand new shape. And it is $5, number nine. $5, number nine. Those things on the front of the cover are very cute. Yeah, those are cute. And they, I think they were one of those that looked like it was pretty easy to make. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. And it's Cheryl Hoskins. Thank you, Cheryl. Okay. The next thing I have is, um, I gotta quit using the wipes I use. Um, they're ironstone dishes and they are made by Johnson Brothers. There are three of them that are this posy um, pattern and uh, they were stacked. Of course, the Goodwill is very tricky about stacking stuff and taping it so you don't know what you're getting. So there are three of these pattern here, which I thought they're very 70s, but I thought they'd be really neat in the fall, you know, to put, to use at your table. But I thought there was enough for four people. When I went through the stack of them, the last one was all white. Same exact, you know, look, but this is all white. So there's three of the posy and one this white. This is exactly that. I wonder if they got one in the set pack that was misprinted or something. Either that or they just didn't even pay attention. They saw the edges and who knows. But I love the pattern of it. Uh, it. It just really, it is so 60s, 70s. So for the four dishes, it is, uh, when you know, I put the price on the bottom, uh, $7, number 13. $7, number 13. You know, for that price, it'd even be nice if, you made desserts for Thanksgiving and you... Um, yeah, Jeffrey Ross. Oh, thank you, Jeffrey. And you put your desserts on there and took them to people's houses. I do that all the time at, you know, at Christmas time. I I buy plates at the Goodwill and then I just... It, you can get lots nicer ones than you can at the Dollar Tree. And then I put my things on them and, you know, I just tell the people to keep them. That way I don't have to take them home again, right? All right. This next thing, you're getting a bonus. This is the bonus item. It is three uh, like cutouts from Campbell's Soup Kids. One of them is on a skateboard. That right there looks pretty vintage. And then there's the boy with the dog. Dog's collar says recipe on it. And then there's the girl, and she's in her school clothes. Look at her little loafers. They're so cute. And those go with this, which is a Campbell's Recipe Keeper. <clears throat> now, it's brand new. It's never been used because it's even got a little piece of plastic. But whatever it was stored in was, like, making little dings on it and stuff. Like up here and uh, on the edge here. But other than that, that's the only places. And then inside you have a, probably like for gross, a, li a list to write your, you know, what you need. Oh, it's all, all in plastic and stuff. Yeah, it's all in plastic. There's two magnets. I think these are magnets. 
No, they're just stickers. That comes out. And then there's um, there's different categories, but they have sheets, like a full sheet to put your recipes on. That's nice. And uh, then they have pockets to put stuff in, and they have stuff like um, one dish chicken and rice bake, green bean casserole. All kinds of recipes made with their soups. Tomato soup, spice cake. That's one of their real famous ones. Chicken and stuffing skillet. So it's really a, a nice, you know, nice one to put your recipes in. Well, plus you could just put, uh, if you ran out of that paper, you could just write it on notebook paper. Right, just on notebook paper, right. Put it in there because it's, it's, Cause it's the exact same size. size. Yeah. And so this is seven dollars, number twelve. Seven dollars, number twelve, for the Campbell's collection. I used to know a girl that made spaghetti sauce when we were in the Navy, and uh, my first husband and I, and uh, she made her spaghetti sauce with no. tomato soup. No, oh, I knew you were going to say that. It was, when she got done with it, it was good. You would have never known it, but it was cheap. <clears throat> it was cheap to do it that way. And when you're in the service, uh, you don't have any money. Well, now, honestly, soup is so much that it probably well, yeah. is about equal at this point. But I remember when soup was a lot Darn cheaper. it. Come on. Yeah. But back in the day, it was cheap. Okay. Put this over here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me put this here. Yeah. I'm with the she has a very uh gaggy face on the green. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I can't imagine what she would have doctored it with to make it taste like spaghetti sauce and not tomato soup. I don't know, but it was good. She was Italian. That's that that is almost even more upsetting. Hey, D's Italian. But I bet I have a feeling. I have a feeling. I just can't imagine an Italian person uh, using tomato soup for. I have a feeling that sauce. D's tomato sauce for her spaghetti is kick ass. You, kick, kick arse. I would imagine most of would. I didn't think that. Yeah. You know, um. Italian. Would be, make some good spaghetti sauce. My daughter Becky, she went out and bought a pressure canner, and we were talking about pressure canning. She was talking about soup, and I said, "Yeah, we could do that." And I said, "We should pressure can spaghetti sauce because that's something that we both use a lot of." So I'm not sure if we will or not, but that we were we were talking about it. All right, let me see here. Um, I have this cute little. See, these with me. She said, that's a sin. <laughs> oh, girl, you don't know the sins I know. <laughs> this is a, a Fitz and Floyd creamer. I didn't see the sugar. Hi, Paul Lee. How are you? Anyway, I think this snow girl... I think she looks like a pirate wench with the purple hat thingy. And I said, she looks just like a pirate wench to me, but she's just a snow girl. And she is $7 number six, $7 number six. She's in perfect shape. She has candy cane, uh, like ice skates. And there is the little Fitz and Floyd emblem. You would just not eat spaghetti? I agree. I thought uh, Doug's mom solely using tomato paste was bad. Whew. Well, see, that's how my mom did. I was going to say, if you would have eaten, my spaghetti was good. Luckily, I had somebody teach me how to make it real good right away when I first got married. 
my mother's spaghetti sauce, she would brown the, the hamburger <clears throat> and she would not drain it. She wouldn't drain it at all. Then she would take tomato paste and she would put it in with the ground hamburger and she'd always ground hamburger. She'd always would put onion, celery, and uh, green peppers in it. And then she would take water and pour it in to thin out the tomatoes paste. There was no, any kind of spices, nothing to make it, no. It was the most nastiest thing. I don't even remember his mom having any onions or any other, other things. I think they just gave me a package of hamburger and this little can of tomato paste. And I was like, uh, do you have more, you know, cause I knew you put right. so much of this, so much, you know, and nothing else. Nope. Nope. That's it. Just mix it together. Terrible. What's happening? Yeah, it, it was it was so bad what my mother made, and uh, some things she made really good. That was not one of them. But my and my dad would eat it, and you know when it would get cold because the, she didn't drain the meat, it would get like uh, gritty almost. I, I don't know how to explain. It was it was bad. So to me, tomato soup was like a step above. Step above. Okay. I've had this going for quite some time. This is the cutest dang thing for Halloween. Uh, now, you can't see it real well because, of course, my light's on. But the cat has... Uh, do you want me to turn off the light? Please? Sure, if you want to do that. It's so cute. It would look really cute in your window, you know. But I love the eyes of the cat. They And they change colors, too. Right. I think it's really cute. And it is, it's plugged in. It go, you have to plug it in the wall. It is $10, and it is number two. $10, number two. I was watching it, though, you're doing it. It gets some really cool... Yeah. Other things going like how it cycles through. Yeah, it is cool. <coughs> I love it. Let's see. Let me get you. Okay. Yeah, Cheryl Hoskins. Cheryl Hoskins. Thank you, Cheryl. You're going to love it. I'm telling you. The cat keeps giving me the eye, evil eye. All right. I think I only got a couple more things here. Yes. One of them is this very pretty um, music box. It is not hinged. The lid just comes off. Yeah, I love the top of that. Oh, I love the whole thing. And then it's gold. It's like gold like that all the way around. It's gold oh, like yeah, that. like kind of uh, uh, like embossed, like raised. Like yeah. Yes. And then inside it looks like this. It's just got this little compartment, which I don't know what you would put in there, but that and then the music box. And... Like I said, it just sits on top. It, it might, you know what? It might have been hinged because I see a little hole running through it. That would be easy to fix. Just run a little uh, um, paper clip through it. Huh? I didn't. I just now realized that. And it plays. I was laughing my head off. It plays. Um, I'll do it my way. <laughs> it is stamped Japan on the bottom, right on the edge. And uh, the top is like, um, I think, I don't know, it's maybe plastic, but it's, anyway, it's not hand painted. It is $10, number 15. $10, number 15. Yeah, I'm going to put a little paper clip in that. Let's see. 
And the last item I have is, I couldn't believe my luck, but I found another dresser mirror. Oh, there's Sarah. Hi, Sarah. And uh, I cleaned it with these wipes that I got. I don't remember where I got them at. But they're supposed to be window cleaner wipes. Uh, they're kind of smeary, though. But it's in real good shape. What I liked about it is it has the little feet on the bottom, you know. But it's in really good shape. And it's not one of the real big ones. It's a smaller one. And it is $10, number 11. $10, number 11. So, I do believe we have got to the end of the road. Thank you, Cheryl. <clears throat> and uh, like I said, we will be having a sale on Tuesday. So, I will hold all these items until after Tuesday's sale in case you buy something else. And if you don't, well then, um, I'm trying to think. Wednesday, I know I'll be here because we got like all kind of appointments and stuff. But Wednesday, we have them coming out to suck out the dryer vent. <clears throat> so I will probably be working on packing everything on, on Wednesday. And I'll try to get the invoices out by Thursday so that Friday it won't be so confusing. So other than that, I hope you guys, does anybody got any interesting plans for the weekend? Anybody going to the laundromat? <laughs> Let's see, the laundromat... Uh, Oh, Jeffrey, thank you. Thank you much. I still got to get those recipes uh, typed or however I'm going to do it. I like to handwrite it or hand print it. I, I'm going to do the recipes so I can send everybody a res couple recipes of things. I've been so thirsty all day. Thank you, Carol. So, it's going to be really beautiful weather here. I'm hoping that my brother is going to have, um, he usually has like a cookout and stuff at, at, at one of, one of the kids will have it. And so there'll be a big cookout. Mow the lawn. You love doing laundry. You know what? Sarah used to love doing laundry, and then I don't know what happened. Mm. Her, lo her love of laundry has went bye-bye. I wish you'd live closer to Deb, because I would just let you. You could just laundry in my laundry room all day long. You could sit and read a book in there, whatever you want to do. Yeah, resting would be nice. I have a feeling I won't be, but although I I rest quite a bit anyway, so I rest a lot more than I used to. Uh, and you got to work as usual. What do you do, Marianne? Yes, when I was still working, I always had to work Saturdays, sometimes Sundays, every other Sunday. I would have been off on Monday because they would have felt like real fools. That's right. I could put that girl to work. <laughs> Nothing. 
Well, at, at least, um, shoot, uh, Jeannie and I out here, over here. Um, there's so much shooting all the time. You almost hate to even think of going anywhere. I, they had a commercial for, um, yep. Navy pier. And I, I haven't been there in quite a few years, but they have a big Ferris wheel and they've got all kinds of stores and everything. It's, it's really a cool place. Well, I was thinking about it. I thought, oh, that would be kind of fun. Then I'm thinking, no, not really. Because who knows? Somebody might be shooting there or something. Who knows? It's got to the point, you you know, you're free, free to go. So you, you watch everything on TV and you think, I remember when I used to do that. Oh, a peach festival. Yeah. You know. You live in, in Michigan, and I was just see, seeing in the grocery store ad that they had Michigan peaches, and now is the time my mom and I, we used to just go over to, because we we live only, I don't know, 30 minutes, no, it's a little bit more than that, say 45 minutes to Michigan, to Michigan State Line, and we just go over there, you know, go up in there and get peaches. But where's the Peach Festival at? You don't live that close. Michigan City is right on the edge of it, isn't it? Yeah, but that's about a half hour. Yeah. So it's about another 15 minutes you're actually into Michigan. I love peach anything. Peach salsa. Oh, my gosh. I love peach salsa. Peach pie. I love peach pie. Is Pumpkin I love, and peach is probably my second favorite. I do love my peach Romeo. pie. Romeo, Michigan. Romeo. Okay, I've heard of Romeo. I've heard of Romeo, Michigan. If it was a little closer, we could meet up in the middle. We'll have to do that sometime, Carol, because, you know, I mean, Michigan's a long state, but if we met in the middle, it'd be kind of neat. So where she live by Detroit? Uh, where do you, where is it in Michigan you live? I've been to Detroit. I, I love peach pie so much. Well, I bought a peach pie one time. This is many years ago, probably 60 years ago. No, it can be that. 50, I'll say 50 years ago. And our friend from Pennsylvania was from the Navy had come, he had just got out of the Navy and he came to visit. So I, had, I bought this peach pie and was sitting on the kitchen tape table. And, um, I would just like, I like got one piece out of it and then it was just sitting there. So I went to have a piece of the pie and you could, you know, you could, cause you know, how does the cellophane on top? You could see pie in, in there, so I pulled out the pan to cut myself a piece of pie, and that sucker that was in with us had been eating the pie, and all that was left was like a little bit of edge, so it looked like pie in there. He was sleeping on the couch. I went cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> I went nuts on him. I said, how could you do that to me? That was my pie, blah, 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 blah. And so I felt really bad because then he went over and he bought me a whole pie again, but I feel like a real. I was having a moment. So yeah, maybe that's maybe we'll get to Michigan and get some peaches. Got to have me some peaches. I I've been just buying them at the grocery store, but uh gotta get them from Michigan. Yeah, they're the best. Well, guys, I'm gonna let you go. And I hope that you will have a great weekend and uh, try to eat a peach for me and take care of yourselves. Don't fall down. And I'll have to get your peach salsa recipe, Carol. That'd be something me and my daughter could can. All right, guys. I love you so much. Thank you so much. I, uh, I think I've gotten some new subscribers. So if you're here, thank you very much. 
and uh yes and i'll probably see probably pop in and, and d sale tomorrow and see some of you guys there so take care bye bye